So brain fog, it's, it's linked with when people are going through menopause, people are going through hormone issues. And that's both male and female. Like, yes, we, we always talk about menopause and, and females with hormone replacement, but we have to look at lower testosterone for, for guys as well and look at testosterone replacement therapy, like talking about that stuff. Brain fog can be a sign of that. Brain fog can be a sign that you are burning out and that something more serious is coming up mm-hmm. and like we need to need to deal with it. Brain fog can be a sign that you've got poor blood glucose management. It could just, as we say, a sign you've got too much on your plate and we need to step back a bit and give yourself some more actual capacity. And it's funny you mentioned about COVID is that one of the things I've seen a lot of over the last couple of years is that COVID has been the trigger. Mm. Both the stress of of going through lockdowns has triggered a lot of extra, um, and no doubt you've probably seen it with with clients as well, extra stresses, which has exacerbated underlying conditions. Um, and COVID has also been the thing that has un, unhidden, like it, it's revealed underlying conditions that maybe there was autoimmune conditions that weren't there, but brain fog coming as a result and this like theory of long COVID, like it's it's basically like triggered these viral conditions mm-hmm. that were there because of stress. They were basically just waiting, ready to rear their ugly head. 